Black-owned businesses have an economic impact of $1.4 billion in greater Cincinnati. They're pretty important. And about a dozen of them will continue to thrive thanks to an influx of cash. Brad Underwood has a story you will see only here on Local 12. In Shiviet, Beliza Healthcare Solutions gets people ready to become healthcare workers. We pretty much equip ordinary people with skills and tools that help them become nursing assistants. During COVID, in-person training hit the pause button for three months, but thanks to a recent grant from the Fifth Third Foundation and the Innovation Meets Main Street program, adjustments have been made so training can continue. I don't think we'd be in business today, for real, if it wasn't for the grants. $1.2 million went out to 11 business owners in Greater Cincinnati, specifically businesses run by black women. It allowed me to pour back into my business at a critical moment. Regina Carswell Russo's company, Right Now Communications, provides a variety of services, helping clients to define and deliver their messages. Thank you, Commissioner Driehaus. During the pandemic, it picked up, helping to spread health data for the COVID Communications Center, but also corporations wanting to find ways to take a stand on racial injustices. Companies and organizations realized at that point that their customers, their clients, and their supporters wanted them to have a voice in this space. And they also started to look internally at how they're communicating and how they are addressing these issues internally and externally. Carswell Russo now has national exposure thanks to a new certification by the Women's Business Enterprise National Council. Black women-owned small businesses are one of the fastest-growing demographics when it comes to the small business sector. But also underfunded compared to white-owned businesses. You've got to walk alongside. You've got to support. You've got to do those things that make a difference. Pouring money and capital into Black businesses so not only that they are starting, but they're sustaining is incredibly important. Brad Underwood, Local 12 News.